In the meantime, Walgreens just out with its quarterly numbers. Bertha Coombs joins us with the details. She also has some comments from the company's new CEO, Roz Brewer. Hi, Bertha. Hey, Becky. A big profit beat for Walgreens Boots Alliance. Adjusted earnings of $1.17 per share. That's 15 cents above the expectation. Revenues of $34.3 billion was $1 billion above consensus. Pharmacy comps up 8.9% driven by higher vaccinations, while at-home COVID tests and cold and flu sales drove retail comps. The company delivered on its cost-cutting program one year ahead of schedule. And in my exclusive interview, I asked Walgreens CEO Rosalind Brewer about implementing those cuts amid rising costs all around. It's been an interesting quarter. I will say that the trusts, the work that we have done in our cost transformation work, it's been a year in progress. And it just really has been very consistent focus on how we take cost out of the system. And this team has really focused on how we operate. We looked at how do we consolidate the work that we do. And we also looked at just that day-to-day -day operations in our stores. And so we've been able to keep costs down as we've seen some things happening in the supply chain. Last quarter, you didn't think you were going to see that big a boost from COVID vaccines during this quarter. What was the role of the Delta variant surge? Do you think that pushed more people into your stores to get the jab? And Absolutely. are mandates playing a role there as well? There are many companies and organizations, cities and municipalities that are mandating. And I think it's forcing people to say, I need to go to work, so I have to get this vaccine. So it is creating an increase. And we're seeing that in our stores. What has been your stance with your own company in terms of vaccine mandates? Yes. So it's twofold. First of all, we have mandated vaccines for our corporate offices and our regional headquarters. They have been mandated. But in our stores, we are giving our team members a chance to be vaccinated and help them understand how important it is, sharing science and data with them so that they come along in this process. Is it harder for retailers right now because of the labor shortage to to enforce a vaccine mandate? It is. I will be honest with you. At some point, you know, you have these conversations with your teams and they want to decide if this is something that's personally important to them. Obviously, you're dealing with labor costs and mm -hmm. labor shortages. Mm -hmm. How are you handling that and are you finding it hard to staff your stores? Well, one of the things we recently did was introduce the $15 an hour minimum wage, and I think that helped uh, because I think this is a time where we need to make sure that people understand that these companies were here for you, and we understand the rising costs that they're also incurring in their lifestyles right now. And so we were able to also uh, look at our pharmacists and our pharmacist tech technicians and really applaud them for some of the work that they've done. And so we've passed on some bonuses to to those um, individuals in our stores. And so it's helping. And um, we're keeping our stores running pretty nicely right now. You didn't really talk about in your release about the supply chain issues that every single retailer is talking about. Yes, we have had the same supply issues as everyone else. You can um, possibly see that in some areas in our store. I will tell you that we have great relationships with our uh, consumer products companies, and we've just, we've armed together on these issues. It has been a very busy first six months for her, Becky. They're going to be holding their analyst conference starting at 8.30, and that's when they'll be offering their outlook for the year ahead.